Let's get to royal news now on the Met Police say that they will not investigate allegations against Prince Andrew, the Duke of York, in relation to his friendship with the late paedophile Jeffrey Epstein. In unsealed U.S. court files, Andrew is accused of groping a woman at Epstein's house, which he has previously denied. The Met said it would assess new and relevant information should it be brought to their attention. But should the Met Police be acting more quickly. Let's get the views now of former head of Royal Protection, Di Davies. Di, great to have you back on the show. Should the police be investigating these serious allegations against Prince Andrew? Well, good evening and Happy New Year to you. It's nice to be back with you. Uh, yes is the answer because these allegations were put to them, as I understand, nearly four years ago when the Met Police policy at that time was to believe victims. Now we have two or three separate allegations, and it's sad to say that uh, no rationale has been given as to why there is no credible evidence. Now, if somebody in authority can demonstrate to me they've actually taken on some preliminary inquiries, mm. because if it was you and I, and we were alleged to have done this, not once, not twice, but three times uh, to young women, and let's not forget trafficking women to have sex in this country or any other part of the world by a British citizen is a criminal offence. And I say again, if it was you and I, I suspect somebody would have been knocking on our doors. So that's my point. It may, if it's investigated properly, put once and for all the furore that's been going on every time new documents come out. And let's face it, there are a lot more documents, thousands to come out if the judge in america decides to release here we are again four years on and i was on with emily two or three nights after this when i simply said i think it's reasonable in all the circumstances that the metropolitan police investigate these allegations now let's be clear he is innocent of all criminal allegations until evidence prove one way or the other and i think it's to his benefit if a proper structured investigation takes place once and for all. I also say and ask the question, why hasn't he and his solicitors and his lawyers actually, and the Home Office, actually cooperated with the FBI and the Attorney General's Office in New York? These are questions which still remain unanswered. Requests, as I understand it, have been made to the UK and we normally respond double quick to anything from America. For some reason, there's an absolute silence. Well, That's my question. You're absolutely right. And, uh, you know, you have to worry about the smoking gun. That's not a euphemism. Prince Andrew is mentioned 69 times in 900 pages of court documents that dropped this week in the United States. Now, Di, you were the former head of Royal Protection. Did you get to know Prince Andrew? Did you develop a sense of what kind of guy he is? No, is the honest answer, because I had teams that looked after all the senior royals. We had 22 in my time. So, no, I didn't. I had spoken to him on a number of occasions. I had met him once or twice at formal occasions. So, no, the answer is when I did speak to him, he wasn't particularly pleasant. That's all I can say. OK, well, let's bring in uh, my pundits and do stay there, Di Davies, former head of Royal Protection, Annunciata Rees Mogg, Sajila Kershi and Neil Parrish are my top pundits for ringside action of the day's big stories. Uh, Neil Parrish, do you think that the authorities should be doing more to investigate the prince? Yeah, I mean, I think the police, you know, must make sure that they, they handle this uh, as if they would handle any one of us that may or may not have actually um, done what um, the Prince Andrew has been accused of. And mm. so I think it needs to be sorted out. Um, it doesn't seem to go away, does it? And so, therefore, I mean, perhaps if the police and, the, uh, and you know, his personal uh, bodyguards and, and the like were interviewed, perhaps that would shed either new light or perhaps it would shed the light that he is innocent um, one way or the other. But it does just seem to go on and on. And I think the one thing we've got to be absolutely certain of, haven't we, Mark, is that he's not treated differently uh, to any of the rest of us. Well, that's the worry, Sajila. Are the royal family above the law? No one should be above the law. <laughs> no one. And I totally agree with you, uh, Mike, that, that yeah, it, it, it's, 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 it doesn't matter who it is when there's an investigation like this, and this must be going forward, they have to be questioned like everybody else. No one should feel that they are beyond reproach. 
And I mm. think we, we need to get rid of that kind of society that we have had for a long time. And that means royal families, that means politicians, that means anyone. No one should be that powerful that they can't be. And I think we've seen that actually with, you know, um, with Donald Trump, that even ex-presidents uh, can, can still, you know, be, be accused of something and, and have, have justice shown to, to the public. Yeah, so I think uh, definitely Prince Andrew needs to answer some questions. Annunciata, is Prince Andrew being treated with kid gloves by the authorities? It's very difficult to know that I think the argument that there's very little that happened in the UK is one that, that rings true, that it's not the Met's job to investigate things that have happened in, in different jurisdictions under completely different legal systems. Mm. However, I think on this occasion, they've not only got to treat him as they would treat anyone else, but they've really got to be seen mm. to be treating mm. him as they would treat yeah. anyone else. Yeah. And that might mean they have to investigate him even if they wouldn't investigate one of our, us mere non-royals, because they've got to show that it isn't special treatment because he's royal. And Di, it you, could help clear his name, it could condemn him. Well, it's funny you should say that. Die briefly, if you can, just a couple of seconds left. Um, Prince Andrew has vigorously denied these allegations. He settled out of court with Virginia Dufre, his accuser, um, with no wrongdoing being admitted. But... Um, if he has done anything wrong, do you think he'll ever face justice? Well, I sincerely hope so. And, and as your co other contributors say, you know, if one way or the other, we need to sort it because it's going on and mm. on. And in fairness, questions have to be asked, not only of his personal protection officers, but wherever he went, he took an entourage with him. So there are huge questions which he has failed to answer. All I am saying, as I would to anyone else, with well, you and I, let him answer those questions. Okay. And if I was accused of such serious offences, I'd want an investigation because then I could clear my name if I kind was of, innocent. Yeah. Of course, you never would be accused because you are a fine gentleman and an mm. ex-top cop. Uh, Di, do join us again soon. Di Davis, former head of Royal Protection, uh, with none too kind a word to say about his brief encounters with Prince Andrew. There's a surprise.